So today I'll be teaching you how to intercept all of the requests from the mobile app over into our hacker application over here. So the hacker application will be able to pick up all of this request he think over here and we can view all of those information for example like usernames like passwords and all these different fields before it gets sent over to the actual website and before we go any further remember hacking is illegal if you want to hack hack me hack mr hacker Lloyd. and you know what let's let's hack each other so right here, we're on Color Linux, our ethical hacking operating system, and we're going to launch Burp Suite as our interceptor. So I go ahead and enter Burp Suite right here, and we're now launching the interceptor. So in the proxy tab of Burp Suite, what we need to set up right here is, for example, a proxy server that can take in a specific port number, as well as a certificate that we can publish or make it available inside the mobile device. So if I hit over to the proxy tab, I can go to proxy settings, and in settings, I can add here. So I add a listener. So in this situation, I can add 8085, and a specific IP address in this case, we have the IP address of 192.168.0.105. So this is the IP address of Kala Linux. I click OK on that. And what I'll do here is, for example, I can click Regenerate CA Certificate. I can click Yes on that. Import or Export CA Certificate. So in this case, we're selecting on Export Certificate in DER format. Select onto that, click Next. And we will choose a file to export the CA certificate. So in this situation, I have already created one, but what I'll do is to go ahead and replace it. So I'll select on the CA cert.crt, I'll click save. Yes, it already exists, I'm aware. Click next. The certificate was successfully exported. So can click close onto that. Now we need to host and allow the mobile application to download this certificate. So if I enter LS, we can see that we have C a cert.crt so what i can do in this situation is enter python 3 all right dash m http.server and say part 9000 so we are hosting this specific directory so now we have a mobile device running and all i have to do is hit over into say a specific browser and we can download that so let me just go ahead and click more click got it so i'll go ahead and enter the following in this situation we have one 92.168.0.105 and then followed by port 9000 slash ca cert.crt click out there on that and we'll go ahead and download this one so i already have another file but i have to have a new one which is why there is this bracket with the one i'll click download so and i'll click keep on that so done so what we would do now is to give this certificate a name, but it will be used for Wi-Fi. So I'll give it cacert.crt, click OK, and done. So we have now cacert.crt is installed, but not yet. We still have to continue doing one more setup. So all I have to do is scroll all the way down. And what I have here is click onto the Wi-Fi settings, right? Click onto that, click into the advanced, or it should be under edit. So advanced options. So right here, there is a proxy part. So I'll click onto manual and I'll enter the proxy host name. So 192.168.0.105. So this is where Burp Suite, our interceptor is running. So I have the port of 8085, click save. So done, we have now set that up successfully. Now, before we continue any further, we need to head back over into Kala Linux. So in Kala Linux, we have to ensure that our in this case, interception is turned on. So intercept is now turned on. I head back over into our mobile device. So in this case, we have the mobile device right here. I go over into the target application that we have. Okay, so in this situation, I can enter the following of, say, Hacker Loy, all right, and then followed by, say, the password of Handsome Loy. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on to login. All right, and if I head back over, into Kala Linux right here, you can see the following, okay? We have the interception, we have username, and we have the password of Handsome Loy. And of course, I can send this over into say repeater, and we can click send on this, and we'll be able to get the response. So you see the following, wrong password. All right, now that it is set up, let's get hacking. So go ahead and enter the username, in this case, Hacker Loy. I love you, Hacker Loy is the password. I'll click login and we can see the interception right on the background. So I'll go ahead and click on the forward. 
And we'll see, for example, we are now logged in, all right? So once we're here, I can say, for example, go over into the change password and with auto filling of hacker loyalty the username and the password. So password in this situation is if you click onto this username, we are unable to add it on it. So perhaps it is passing a user ID or username or whichever. But let's see what is the real request that is being sent over into the backend endpoint. So if I enter, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on, okay, it's likely not going to work because it requires some complex password as a mobile application security. So in this situation, what I would do is I would use a slightly more complex password to do just that. All right, so in this case, we have a password. So again, it doesn't matter because ultimately we will be editing or intercepting it and then doing a modification of things. So I click change password. I can see right here, we have the interception, which is a post to slash change password. So I can send this to repeater now and think about, okay, if there is hacker loy and there is this password, so maybe I can bypass the mobile application security check against the password. I click send on this and this worked. All right, so we are able to change the password bypassing those password complexity requirement. Now the more important question is, what if we can change the username too? What if I change it to say Jack, which is another user's account, and I give a simple password like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I click send on this, and we get a change password successful. And with that in mind, what I can do here is I can head over into the mobile application. And from the mobile application, what I will do here right now is to exit, all right, the application and I'll re-log in again. So I'll go over into the insecure banking app. I enter Jack and remember the password, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I click login. We will have an interception right here. So I'll go ahead and drop this one. And you can see here we have the interception. I click forward on this. I head back to the mobile application, boom. <laughs> and it's game over.